Okay, the new Terrero XO. 2.9 million. This is a big one. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to buy it because of this video, and from what I've seen already, I don't know if I can say it's worth it, but it's definitely a really good car. Now, let me order my... Oh, no, no, don't order. <laughs> I was about to order it when I already have it. Okay, so yeah, 2.9 million, and here it is. I've got it on me. Right, and you can also open the rear as well. That's pretty nice, and you've got, yeah, the suspension, the brace, uh, the engine, which is reused, but nothing nothing new here but we do have an adaptive spoiler so it does go up it goes up really quick actually like nearly instant <laughs> there's no slow incline it's just up does it go and change to any uh, other angle when you go to a higher top speed no that's just it but yeah this already looks nice i like the stock wheels let's go and customize this car okay let's start off bumpers Okay, we've got a lot of options already, 16 options, and it is forged carbon. So, forged carbon options are a thing. The trailer wasn't just a dirty bonnet, it was actual forged carbon. And, um, yeah, I can't zoom, yeah, that's all the zooming I can do, but I'm pretty sure we'll get a bigger example uh, with the bonnet, and then we can have a good look at it and see how detailed it is. But, um, yeah, there is a bit of a modern twist on this car, but... I'll just go for a little, a little forged carbon splitter. Uh, rear. Oh my god. Right, I'll have to rev the car so the smoke goes away. But we've got a full straight pipe here. Complete straight pipe. Um, yeah, that's just a deleted bumper. So that's how it would be if you take the bumper off. Diffuser. Secondary diffuser. And I'm guessing there's going to be a twin turbo option. If there's a straight pipe option... Or bumper delete option there must be a twin turbo option no no there's not well exposed twin turbo anyway but it doesn't seem like there is any sign of it either um oh that's a shame that's a shame but it does look still looks pretty cool having having um the bumper off <laughs> yeah let's go to the next mod oh actually you know, just for the sake of modding it, I'll just put that as my option. So canards and we've got front. So here in this in this car, it is an option. And uh, what? Grill cover. What? So we've got... Okay. It's one of those again where GTA put it under a category which um, is quite uh, diverse. It's not just one actual category. Uh, dual forged kit. Okay, so you can go through. So they have put like the options that they've had previously, that canards, but in forged carbon. You don't have to have odd carbon, just normal carbon, and then forged carbon, and then normal carbon. Yeah, but I'm not gonna put any options on there. Engine, we'll put on level four so we can see how fast this. Oh, oh, I am so sorry. I, I judge this car without even looking at the mods. We've got silencers. We've got you know a back box, a muffler. And then we do, we do, because I accidentally skipped to it. We do have twin turbo. That is pretty cool. That does remind me a lot of the Zeruso, I think it was. But it still, it still looks really cool. It looks like a really nice drag car now. Let's make this some type of drag build. <laughs> so we've got forge car. We can put forge carbon everywhere. We've got forge carbon here, which is very small. Well, it's the rest of the bonnet, basically, but it's very small um, pieces. Um, livery. We've got an Italian livery. What's this one? Black Pegasus? Oh, Pegasi. Oh, Pegasus. <laughs> oh, I'm so stupid. But that doesn't look nice and fine. And, uh, oh, that looks pretty nice and prestigious as well. We do have some nice, um, clean kind of liveries. Uh... And then, yeah, we get to the more abstract ones, which this one, this red one, I think looks unique for a redwood livery. But yeah, let's uh, skip past those. Respray. Let's get this into a nice. Let's see what the crew color is. Okay. Crew color. I'll just put the crew color on just because it's a bit different. And then we'll go on roof. And I did miss out on the last video. So the last video, the e-tron GT, if you actually tint the windows, the when the headlights actually go black as well so i'm gonna try that on this car as well because i always got skip past tint um forged roof i'm guessing you can get the whole thing fully forged no 
Maybe not. It would look weird, but yeah, we have got a carbon option. Um, what's the difference between this? Okay, it's vented and carbon. It's, yeah, pretty nice. You've got vents on the roof. Um, skirts. There are a lot of options on this, actually. I was prepared for it to nerdy finish now, but there are a lot more options. Um, yeah, and we've got like simple, simple uh, skirts with the option of forged carbon too, which again, very cool attention to detail that Rockstar have done. So they've just basically retextured some other um, carbon to forged carbon. Forged wing as well. Wait, will this come up with the wing? Okay, because I've done the whole twin turbo build, I think it's all right to put this kind of spoiler on or this type of spoiler on. Um, I'll go for this type of spoiler. I've not even looked through all the spoilers yet and I'm already choosing. So we've got a spoiler on top of a spoiler, unless this does not come up, which with every other car in GTA, it doesn't. Ooh, a suited kind of wing. You know what? I do like this. But I'm going to go normal carbon. I'm not going to go forged carbon. I don't know. I'd, yeah, in real life, maybe. But in in the game, it, it looks a bit dirty. Just like, like my car's dirty. Ooh. I don't want to. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't want to keep it low because it's going to be a drag build. But I'm, it, I'm going low anyway. Um, We've got loads of hood options as well. 17 hood options. This car has a lot of modifications. A lot of modifications. And to be honest... Quite nice ones too. Um, I wouldn't go for the forged carbon again. You can have a better look at that. It just looks like, to me anyway, it just looks like black that's not been washed for a very long time. Um, turbo, we need every every performance upgrade on this, of course. Vents, okay. So it's just a vent on the side there. Right, yeah. I'll make it colored then. Wheel, let's go for something with thick tires. Tuner. We'll go for these, I think, because they're the, le the least kind of JDM looking wheels, I think, out of the tuner wheels. Actually, we'll go for these Cosmos here. So, yeah, with this one, the tints actually don't do the headlights. Um, they only do it on the e-tron GT, I'm guessing. So, yeah, let's take this out on the test drive. Let's see how stupid this car is because it, it, it looks ridiculously fast. And, oh, my God, it slides quite a lot as well. So, let's go. Oh, this car is, this car is fast. Ooh, it's the brakes though. I mean, we are in the rain. I am on tuna tires. How fast is this thing going? Yeah, the handling is not great, but then again, the rain is ruining it all to, yeah. So I can't really compare this compared to, just feel a bit stiff on the turning. And yeah, overall, this is a very, like fast car it's uh maybe lacking in handling but yeah thank you so much for watching and yeah if you do want to subscribe uh please do subscribe i, I am asking people to subscribe this dlc and um hopefully you did enjoy that video and have a nice day see you guys later